for four. I've been playing for, if I'm 30 now, I've been playing since 12. So since what? Since 12. 18 years. 18 years. 18 years. So what kind of, you know, bumps and bruises have we occurred over the course of 18 years? I've been lucky, so I have no knee injuries. Um, actually, I have a torn meniscus. Um, tore that, that turned slight around. tear. That, that turned know? quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, plot, yes, I have. Plot twist. <laughs> but no ACL, thankfully. Yeah. Um, I've been pretty lucky. I've gotten... Um, my ankle's been hurt a mm -hmm. couple times. Um, play a pretty physical game, so yeah. it's been pretty good so far. Yeah, good. I, yeah, I, I, I believe it. I'm sure <laughs> you're out there, you know, pushing some girls around and some of the boys in co-ed as well. Yep. Uh, you also had mentioned to me at one point that you had bro broken your collarbone. I separated my separated, collar yeah. collarbone, had a grade two AC joint mm -hmm. strain. Um, did that, what, two days after Christmas, snowboarding, fell straight on my face. Um, and still dealing with that pain today. So certainly pains and aches uh, throughout the body, uh, particularly from you know some of those falls that we've taken. Yep. And currently right now, um, is it primarily behind a desk that you're working? Primarily behind a desk, so uh, a lot of computer work, kind of like caved in a little bit, mm -hmm. um, but yeah. So for whoever's watching, whether you're the athlete or the desk jockey, you know, this one will be for you. And what we're going to do with Ms. Nicola here is we're going to do a full body assessment. We're going to go over, you know, what parts that are going to require an adjustment. We're going to do that okay. and we're just going to ease through it. Okay. So what you're going to do for me is lie face down, big deep breaths in and out. And what we're going to do as always is notice what we notice and as she's lying there, Right off the bat, I mean, Joe, come on over here. You're just going to see with these legs, like just the way it's, she's lying, things look off. And I'm going to go ahead, pull that a bit, see if she is indeed even. Oh, she is, which is good. Even in that second position as well. Go any pain or discomfort with this motion right here? No. Perfect. Cool. So right off the bat, what we're noticing with her is that Looks like these muscles up here are, are developed. They look like they're tight and they're tense. Do you feel like you hold most of your tension in your upper back? I do. Okay. Stress levels, would you say they're like low, moderate, high? Uh, I would say moderate. Moderate, okay. So a common area for people to hold that emotional stress is gonna be in their neck, their upper back. And right off the bat, what I'm noticing with her as we're palpating into her sacrum, it's gonna be that this right side of her SI joint throughout this line here, that there's restriction, we're not getting proper motion. And her, we call the PSIS, your posterior superior iliac spine. It's in the back, and those are the bumps that you feel if you're touching on your back right here, okay? What's happening with her is that her right one is shifted up higher compared to the left one. So there is some imbalance that's occurring, but her body, it's creating compensation patterns throughout and it's still giving us an even legs over here. So certainly something is off, but it's, it's created equality within her legs, which is, you know, just the way that the body deals with stress. Now, if I poke into this side here, is there anything that you feel on this left side compared to the right side? Does it feel different for you at all? Uh, they're just both a little tender. Both a little bit tender. Okay. So certainly what we're feeling with her is that tension, Tension right here in her lumbar paraspinals, the muscle group that's supposed to be relaxed right now, but certainly some of those muscles are working. And over here, restriction in this SI joint, so we wanna open that up. Nicole, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna place my hand on your sacrum. You're gonna keep your legs as straight as possible. You're gonna lift up one leg as high as you can. Lift your right leg up as high as you can, beautiful. There you go, a little pop already, and then the left side. Beautiful, and then back down. What did you notice with those? Was was either one a little more challenging than the other? Uh, my right side was more challenging. More challenging. Awesome. So what, we're, what I'm going to do is have this side up for me. We're going to get that adjusted first. So you're going to lie down on your side. Perfect. We're going to bend this knee right here. We're going to tuck this just a little bit. Perfect. And what I want you to do is take a big, big deep breath in for me right here and then all the way out. Amazing. We're going to do that one more time. Big deep breath in right on that SI joint. Beautiful. Amazing. And the other side. Tuck this just a little bit right there. Perfect. We're going to let that hang right there. 
We're gonna go right into our lumbar spine. I do want a little more motion right here as well to help balance that out. Breathe it out, breathe it out. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice. I'm gonna go face down for it. Perfect, everything's still even. Go ahead and retest that right side for me. Amazing, and then other side. Beautiful. <laughs> What'd you notice? Okay, it's a little bit better. A it's, bit uh, better. I can definitely feel the difference. Awesome. Good. A little back starting to relax as well. Now we're going to see what it feels like for her over here. So she's got great motion upper lumbars. And when we reach this area right here, woo, <laughs> what do you feel there, Nicole? A lot of tightness, a lot of tightness. Tightness. All right. So she's doing great over here, but in this section here, probably from about T3, T6 to, you know, T8 even, lots of tension that's built up and into her rhomboids. These muscles are not very happy with her. So certainly we want to be mindful of our posture. If you can get in the daily habit of foam rolling into this region, that would help out a lot as well. So what I'm going to do here, you're going to take a big, big deep breath in. You're going to breathe it all the way out for me. Perfect. Big deep breath in again. And then all the way out. Awesome. Then one more time. Big deep breath in. All the way out. You're doing a great job of breathing on that table. Is there any tenderness on you here or here? Uh, more on your right more side. More on the right side. Flip on your back for me. Awesome. So your neck's feeling pretty good. We have a section right there. So if I poke in a little bit, on this, let's say this left side compared to this right side, what do you notice between the two? Uh, I feel like my right side's a little bit more tighter. Tighter on that right side? Cool, so what we're gonna address with Miss Nicole here is gonna be C2 on this left side, and then C1, the atlas, on the right side. And we're just gonna bring that over right there, let that relax. Beautiful. And then one more right on over there, all the way relaxed. Nice. I'm gonna do a big traction move here. Just breathe, let it relax. Awesome. All the way relax. We make you just a little bit taller here. Beautiful. Then sit on up for me. Swing those legs on over. Whew. What do you feel? <laughs> Better. A little bit more relieved. A little bit uh, less tight. Less tight. Kind of overall flow feels a little bit better. Good. So we have that rush of energy, that rush of blood flow, which is awesome. And the big thing that I noticed with you is that even though as an athlete, let's just say you know, we're playing soccer, we want to be able to swing that leg back yes. to get that power, yep. right? Well, so, well, yes. <laughs> so what do you think, you know, what do you think happens if we don't get, that, get to swing that leg back as far before we kick that ball? Uh, the full range of motion, definitely mm. not, and the little torque will be a little yeah. less. Yeah, so right now, as you're going to go back out on that field and score some goals, you don't want to tell them, or you maybe you do want to tell them that chiropractic is a secret power that's going to go, go improve that range of motion, or maybe you want to keep it to yourself so you can keep kicking butt out on that soccer field. But thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. That was amazing. Thank you, and we'll see you all soon.